We've talked a lot about processing PHP files and how to make it easier and faster to load assets. But we haven't really talked about the database where the content of your site comes from. Let's dive into how the WordPress database works, because the more you know, the more you can improve it. WordPress uses a relational database. If you don't understand that term, no worries. If you want to dive deep into how databases work, we have Programming Foundations Databases in the library. And if not, we'll cover it at a high level right now. First, let's look at the database's main tables. We'll use the official WordPress documentation so you can dig in to the many links and related pages if you want to further explore these concepts. The main tables for WordPress are WP underscore posts and WP underscore post meta. When you save a page or post, WordPress saves that information in the database into these two tables. In WP underscore posts, you'll see information like the title of the post, the content of the post, the date, the status, and the excerpt. And any extra information goes into the WP post meta table. So that might be SEO keywords and descriptions from a plugin, or extra image information, or the page layout from your theme, or oembed information, as well as breadcrumb information. Really, any extra information goes into this table. If you've never designed a database before, you might not realize how the structure makes it easier for plugins to add their own data, but might not be the best for speed. So when WordPress saves information this way, a plugin doesn't have to create a new database table to store the information. It can store everything in this separate post meta table. WordPress created a very flexible database. That's why there are thousands and thousands of free plugins. Unfortunately, WordPress's flexible database structure is not efficient for speed. As an example, let's go to my site. I'm in my hosting account right now, and I'll go to MySQL, and I'll launch phpMyAdmin, which lets me browse my database. Depending on what host you use, you'll see an interface similar to this, or maybe something entirely different. We can see over on the left all of the tables for my WordPress database. And we can see posts as well as post meta. Let's take a look at post meta. So I'll click on it. And you can see all of the different post meta information and what post they're associated with. So, as an example, all of this post meta information is associated with post ID 11. As an example, let's take a look at the post meta information for the homepage of my site. I'll go to search. And then down by post ID, I happen to know that the post ID is 20. So I'll type in 20. And this will find all the post meta information related to that post. As you can see here, there are 28 pieces of information related to my homepage. When WordPress pulls this information out of the database, it takes more time to pull out 28 separate rows of data instead of one larger row of data. WordPress also crams a ton of information into the WP posts and WP post meta tables. Even entire WooCommerce orders are stored in these tables. I've loaded the live version of my database, and here's an actual real life order, and this real life order has 62 pieces of post meta information. There are ways to streamline your WordPress database. I'll show you how to limit the data that goes into the database and how to optimize its structure. But for now, You've seen how the WordPress's flexible database is amazing for developers, but not so great for maximizing speed.